For me, I, I uh, started you know, smoking pot um, when I was really young, actually. I was, I was 11 years old. Um, the drug hit me for the first time. Um, I really felt this, this very real sense of relief. Um, because up until that point, you know, I had felt so uncomfortable in my own skin and anxious and pot kind of just stopped working um, for me like it had. My tolerance was getting higher and, um, you know, at the time, again, I, I never felt like I could ask anyone for help earlier. And, you know, I tried kind of everything in high school, um, but it really wasn't until I found uh, crystal meth that was like the one that, you know, really, I guess I'd been looking for. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I will say that um, the moment that I did that drug, I feel like I was instantly addicted. To, you know, I spent the next seven years or something chasing that feeling that I got the first time I did it. Had spent my whole childhood um, drinking and using whenever I felt any kind of feeling at all. And so when I was sober for the first time at, you know, 19, 20 years old, I just had no idea how to be in the world at all. I didn't know how to cope with any emotions. I, I didn't know anything. And, you know, I, I always sort of feel like the feeling was like, I would get just so hopeless feeling like there was just nothing was ever going to work out for me. I was never going to be able to feel joy and happiness the way that other people had felt joy and happiness. You know, my dad told me this recently, which I thought was really interesting, is they did a, a study of, um, of parents and they asked parents, you know, why do they think that their kid, or why do they think that young people use drugs and alcohol? And almost like uh, across the board, all the parents said that they thought that young people used because of, um, because they wanted to have fun and they wanted to party and they wanted to, um, and because of peer pressure, that was the other thing. But when they asked kids the same question, what kids said overwhelmingly more than anything else was that the reason that they used drugs and alcohol was because of stress. And I, I thought that was so interesting because you know, for me, that was always how I felt. It was like, I just felt so much anxiety. This editor from a publishing company uh, reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in, in writing my story as, as a book. And, um, you know, I, I, again, for kind of the same reason that we, I felt like with the article, that it could just sort of be a helpful thing for people, um, I, I wanted to try. And so I started writing, and, and my dad at the same time separately started writing his book, um, um, Beautiful Boy, and I started writing my book, Tweak. But about halfway through writing it, um, I ended up getting involved with this, uh, this she was relapsing and, and, and lying about, or hiding it. Um, you know, I, I didn't even think twice. I, I just started uh, using with her again. And, um, you know, that really was like the worst uh, relapse, you know, of, of my life, hopefully. Um, she actually just called my mom, and my mom came out and found me. And um, she had a member of the Los Angeles Police Department with her. And um, basically, they were like, you know, either you go into treatment or, um, or you go to jail. And I don't know, it thought, once I got to that, that last treatment center, it just finally all clicked for me, and I just, I felt like, okay, I believe this, like, this is real, and I have this, and so I need to figure out how, you know, how do you treat any disease, but how do I treat this disease? So I got, finally I got diagnosed with um, bipolar disorder. For me, um, you know, working with a doctor, getting on medication was so important, and then the other aspect was was 12-step stuff, you know, was just so important, and my life is so rich and full now, but it's not because of um, any external things. It's just because of, you know, how I feel inside. And the way that I feel inside, I only feel because there's been so many people that have been there to support me and to help me and um, to teach me about, you know, what addiction is and how to treat this disease.